sight. Right now we're at a uh, government facility. Could, I'm sorry, could you say one more? According to zoning laws, we're at a government facility, not school property, which is where they arrested the four boys for uh, concealed carrying, which is within their rights. We're going to do the same thing today and uh, see what happens. So basically, the statement we're making is the fact that we will do we will do this. We will do exactly what they arrested the boys for. Four of the uh, constitutional citizens. Uh, constitutionally adhering citizens, we will do exactly what they did and uh, embrace the potential repercussions. So, uh, we want to first note by saying that this is technically a press conference, not a protest. Um, and we have a message that we want to read to y'all as concerning citizens of Virginia. Um, all the speaking I've ever done, uh, I've never written a speech. So uh, this has been written and contributed to by several members here. Um, and so we will we'll present that to y'all. So initially we had planned to make the speech to law enforcement, but since they're a no-show, um, we're gonna make it to y'all. So members of the media, the public, my brother's standing here in arms today. Law enforcement that is probably stalking this right now and whoever else cares to listen. Why are we here? Today, August 19th of 2023, many of us young men of Virginia who have either been in war or served our country have a grievance against the Sheriff's Office of, Gloss, Office of Gloucester County, Virginia. In 2021, this Sheriff's Office, among many other Sheriff's Offices in the state of Virginia, vowed to be a Second Amendment sanctuary, promising to preserve the very amendment that protects our Constitution and our homeland. In recent months, they have enforced unconstitutional laws and invented new offenses to satisfy their desire to control this country's politics, including the arrest of four citizens lawfully exercising their right to carry a weapon, one of which is actively serving this great nation. When I say the word lawfully, I mean in accordance with the rights protected by the Constitution and without regard to any supposed law that contradicts those rights. These men have fallen victim to weaponized politics. Concerned for the community, they attended a school board meeting at an office facility that according to zoning laws is a government facility and after the speech given by a community member peacefully addressing the misuse of power by members of the school board and the use of politically motivated violence by an elected official prior to that meeting, all four men exited the building peacefully and quietly to return to their daily lives. They were immediately and without provocation confronted by sheriff's deputies who then asked them if they were armed. In the following discussion, it was determined that they were in fact carrying weapons in accordance with their rights. All handguns were confiscated and less than three days later, felony warrants were issued for their arrest. All of this transpired because they spoke up against the misuse of power in Gloucester County and Sheriff Warren felt the need to protect his corrupt cronies. Seeing this misuse of power repetitively across Virginia, beginning with the General Assembly's special session in 2020 that passed unlawful acts of armed control, has led me to believe this. The law and the creator of the law are not the direct issue. The ones who enforce the law are the most basic threat to our liberty when they abuse their power, as Sheriff Warren has done. For without this arm, this weapon, this blue boot, the law has absolutely no power. Hypothetically, if China were to invade us, we wouldn't take the fight to their Politburo. We would fight their infantrymen, the boots on the ground. When it comes to the law, the law has no power until it's enforced. And so our problem is with law enforcement who chooses to enforce corrupt laws that violate the Constitution. In days of old, our forefathers repeatedly begged that their grievances be solved. They cried to the king, they cried to parliament. The king answered by deploying troops to occupy homes, steal arms and money, and murder dissidents and protesters, as we see repeatedly across the U.S. today. This is why our founders warned us of professional men at arms enforcing the government's will, and yet somehow supposed freedom-loving Americans have continually given up rights and freedoms to the very standing army that strips away our rights in the name of earning a living, out of control, rogue law enforcement. Today I'm not here to beg and I'm not here to cry. I'm not here to question their authority. I'm here to completely and unequivocally deny the very legitimacy of its existence. I'm here to do this. I'm here to remind every man and woman that wishes to breach our constitution that many of us vehemently swore an oath to defend to remind you that we are awake. We are ready, we will fight, and we will die. We will do everything within our power to defend those rights enshrined within the Constitution. We will not attack anyone, but we will always defend ourselves if attacked. 
To the officers that are watching this, you violated the Constitution of the United States. Someday you will answer for these violations. If not before man, you will answer to it before God. You disgust us. You are not our brothers. You have no right to fly our flag. You have no right to be an American. You are Tories, Redcoats, and not Patriots. You have no right to live off of our taxes. You have no right to wear a uniform funded by the very people you abuse. You are a disgrace to liberty. If you wish to embrace the ideals of freedom, lay your badge down. Step away from being the boot that continues to oppress and stand for real liberty. Return the property you've stolen, resign your positions, and find a living that doesn't involve abusing innocent people. To the men standing here today with me and to the state of Virginia, this is not about us and this is not about them. This is about the future that we want for our children. If we give an inch on our rights today, our children will be a mile away from their rights tomorrow. Too many people have drawn their line at door-to-door -door confiscation, forgetting that the other side will simply enforce whatever laws are handed down to them that they wish to enforce and restrict us one inch at a time, chipping away our rights one step at a time. I implore all of you, Virginia, to stand up as you stand today, to continually hold the line here in Virginia. We must not let this state fall. Our fathers didn't stand up and speak when jackbooted thugs abused their neighbors. Now we stand up and speak so our children don't have to. I don't want bloodshed. I don't want war. I've seen war. I've been in war. I don't want any of that. But I promise you, I will fight a war if I need to, to protect our children's future. For freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction, and we are that generation. I embrace the pain for preservation of freedom. If it must happen, let it begin with us. For what is my life against our nation's future? What is it? It's nothing. Six Semper Tyrannus, that's on our state flag, it's our state seal, and it means thus always the tyrants. And it means that as long as tyrants continue to use the law to oppress innocent civilians who gave a peaceful speech and walked out, returning to their cars, going on about their daily lives, if they continue to oppress, we will stand. We will defend it. I love this country. I love this nation. We will get a lot of hatred for this and we'll get a lot of love for this, but at the end of the day, we're doing what's right because we love our Constitution, and I will die for my Constitution. I am sick of being tread on. I am sick of the fact that our fathers did not stand up. And so now we have to, so our children don't. And so I implore the state of Virginia, stand now. It's on you. Stand up. Six Semper Tyrannus, thus always the tyrants. Thank you. So according to uh, the law, if For you're, now we're good. <laughs> you're having a gathering, um, a religious gathering, and you pray or anything of that sort while carrying, that's also a charge. And uh, we're here to challenge that as well. My name's Harrison. I'm a resident of Gloucester County, and I have been for many years. I'm here today not because I want to be, but because I have to. I'm here because a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The Second Amendment is not a second-class right. In fact, it's the only one which cannot be infringed upon. It is this right which guarantees all others. Here's another one you might know, the First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. And that's exactly why we're here today. So with that in mind, I'd like to read you a section of Virginia State Law 18.2, TAC 283, titled Carrying Dangerous Weapons, Dangerous Weapons to a Place of Religious Worship. If any person carry a gun, a pistol, bowie knife, dagger, or other dangerous weapon without good and sufficient reason, and I think we have that, to a place of worship while a meeting for religious purposes is being held at such a place, he shall be guilty of a class four misdemeanor. 12. 12, 12. Now every police officer and every service member here has sworn an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic. So I offer you a chance to prove yourself to see if you'll keep your oath. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, 
who is conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst our precious blood and so forth. Thank you, I give you pride. Father, forgive them. It's the person of Sarah. For three hours in the darkness and earthquake, he hangs. Come down from the cross, they cried. Save thyself. He came not to save himself, to me, poor sinner. We're wasting everybody's time. That's probably a BB gun. That's probably a paintball gun. It's probably not even loaded. Can you even shoot a gun? Everybody here likes our Second Amendment, but get off of our school property with it. You're wasting everybody's time. You look like a bunch of G.I. Joes. G.I. Joes, baby. Yeah. G.I. Joes. I look the one, the one over there, he looks like he's on Meal Team 6. Hey, if y'all aren't worried about stuff, how come y'all have a bunch of vests on? You talked all this on your YouTube video, man. All right, how come you're walking away? Come here, man. You remember me, Mike Dunn? I don't have to yell this time. Remember last time in 2020 when you were up at Newport News Police Department? I had to yell because I was banned from the property. You said you was going to defend my rights and walk me onto the property. You didn't do shit because you're a shit-talking, loud-mouthed, little dumpy motherfucker. Fuck you and fuck the police. Garbage-ass motherfucker. Hey, you didn't go to fucking Ukraine. Hey, man, don't say fuck the police. Fuck the police. Good, man. No, they're not. No yeah, police are good. All cops are bastards. We're gonna have to disagree. We're gonna have we to all disagree. Just like hey, Mike Dunn. Well, me and you're gonna have a problem if you say fuck the police. Well, well, fuck the police, sir. They're good people here. No, they're not. They are good. People. All cops are bastards. Where are they? Sure, Where all are they for this guy? Why are they not doing it? Where cops? are they here? Get them off the school property. Where's your well, cops doing something? Yet again, Mike Dunn gets to break the wall. Call them. You call them. You call them. You say them. they're so call great. Them. You love them. You Go. call them, you say they're so great, and yet again, Mike Dunn gets to break the wall. And then the, and then the people that lick the boots and back the blue, they tell somebody else to call them. Why don't you call your heroes and tell them to somebody's breaking the law? Why is he breaking oh, the wall? Well, Why is he allowed to break the law? Y'all probably got warrants and stuff. So. I got oh, warrants. Now here, we, here we go. I have now, no criminal record. Now it's going to be against me. Now it's going to be me. I have no, we're not going to sue you. I believe in the First Amendment. We're just going to put you, you on don't. YouTube. Make because you, you just said that we both disagree oh, about Mike Dunn. Yeah, sure, it's a joke. Well, I got oh, 11,000 11, subscribers joke, to say right? otherwise. Oh, you do? It's I a do. joke. That's great. It's yeah. a joke. What, 8 million people in the world? I'm tired of corruption. 8 million people. No, there's 8 billion. I'm tired yeah. of this white motherfucker out here being able to do whatever he wants to do. So are we. I'm tired of him. No, you're not. You're just saying Are you? Where were you in 2000? Three years ago, two years ago. I was there. He put a shotgun shell on a twenty dollar bill at my feet. He should have. He should have? Really? So it's okay to threaten people when you disagree with them. Violence is okay when you disagree with them. Well, that's, God show. That, that's the people that back the blue. Because Violence is okay might, when you might disagree. Might makes right in America. Y'all go after and him. And here they are. Y'all go after him. Y'all go after him, not the cops. They're not doing it. Fuck the police and fuck the you police. The police aren't doing anything. Your law enforcement is allowing these men to stand you think, on your school property. You think property the police need to come and arrest guns. me for talking? Has anybody Where are them? they? Where are these brave men and women out here telling these guys they got to get off this property? You want me to call them? Where are, call, call them. them. Okay. I'll call them. Call them. I'll call them. Tell them you'll suck their big blue dick when they get here. Let me, let me get out of y'all's way. Not my way. I'll be more than happy to call them. Not my way. Call them. 
Tell him! Damn it. I'm gonna start doing this. I'm unarmed. What's the purpose? What's the purpose of y'all being here? Pray. To pray? Yeah. You want to pray with me? Go ahead. Okay. Do you know the Lord's Prayer? Yes. Do you know the Hail Mary? No. So we're going to start the rosary over. So we're going to read the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let me tell you, I, I, I carry a gun 99% of my life, but today I decided that this is the only weapon I was going to carry, and I think that it's going to be more effective than any gun I've ever carried. And so far I think I'm right. True. And I hope that this demonstration will lead to the conversion of many souls and that more people will come to my Lord and your but Lord and our Lord too. Jesus Christ. I'm a gun owner too. I'm a hunter. Yeah. And there's a place and a time for everything. I know, but the Second Amendment wasn't written in case the deer revolted. You know what I mean? It was in case the government were to come after us, which, but do you know what which is what happened me? here a couple weeks ago. you know what people ago. tell me? Yeah. I'm a Democrat, proud okay. Democrat. And you're going to lose your guns. No, I'm not. Well, the reason no, why you're not going to lose your guns is because I'm not going to. I'm not going to let them take your guns. There's no cops here. I'm not going to let them take your guns. Well, they're not going to take. I have no fear. You're right, they won't. You shouldn't because I'm here. You shouldn't have any fear. I believe because I will not let it happen. We have rights and we have laws. We have laws for a purpose. And none of us are doing anything in violation of those laws, and we're all exercising our rights. We have our First Amendment rights, and we have our Second Amendment right, and our Second Amendment right protects all those other ones. True, but we have laws too. Yeah. And if you go to a school board meeting, you don't bring guns. Why not? That's the place where I'm most likely to have someone attack me, because they're not going to like what I have to say. He didn't even go there for school board reasons. He went there because he had a beef with the guy. Well, I mean, I if, some, if right? a school, right? three school board members, if one of them slashed my tire, I would probably be a little upset too. But, why but it's not he, like he pulled a gun out and pointed it. He had it in his back. But actually, that was a scout knife. He had it right here. So nobody even saw his gun except for the officer saw the imprint. Why would he need one? He's a 10-year Special Forces veteran. I trust him with a gun. Why don't I trust anyone? I just don't think that that was the time or the place. Well, you see, honestly, nobody would have even known unless those deputies pulled him to the side and said, if you don't give us your gun, this is going to be a gun fight. And that's what they told him. That's what they told those three other men. But did they, did they not go there looking for a fight? No, they didn't. He went there and he said, please make it right. One of y'all slashed my tires. I was the last one to leave here. There's only three other people here. And one of y'all slashed my tires. I'm not going to accuse any of you. Please make it right. That's it. And he went back and he sat down in his seat. And about five minutes later, he tried to exit where he was confronted by four police officers and the police officer that was already in the school board meeting. But when Who did nothing until his backup showed up, which is my point. Because right now, if someone were to shoot me in the back of the head, the police aren't here. I've been here for an hour. We've been here for an hour. I've prayed three litanies. I've prayed 1.5 rosaries. And the police still aren't here. But you know why? You because it's, the courthouse. it's because they agree with us. And they don't want to enforce BS laws. And we have the right in a public forum to defend ourselves. That's the situation where we're most likely to need it. So you feel like coming here that you were threatened and I that's why we need guns. All. I don't feel threatened at all. Man. Do you feel threatened in this county at all? No, because I carry a gun instead of my friends. If, if somebody shows up 
If somebody shows up and tries to hurt us, I think we're going to be okay. The point I think he's trying to make is that you don't get to choose when or where you're attacked. It just happens. I don't get to choose. That's why you carry a gun for defense. You have it with you in case you need it. It's not necessarily being afraid or feeling threatened. It's just if you're attacked, you have the ability to level the ground and defend yourself. But you need an AR? Yeah, sometimes, yeah, because... There I've could seen, be 30 people trying to kill you. Police footage of home invasions where there's been five, six, seven people just yeah. bust in and go. And I mean, I'm pretty confident in myself and my ability to shoot. But when it comes down to it, if you're facing multiple people, you're just going to have to. Yeah, if, I mean, think about think about you versus like six other people. We're about to line up over here. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I really want to thank you for talking and praying with me. And I hope that we have a deeper understanding well, of each other. That's the only way you can settle anything is if you come and talk. Yep. Correct. And that's what I'm here for. She prayed with me. Yeah, she prayed with me. Yeah, we, we prayed the first decade of the, uh, the rosary together. You know, we prayed the creed. But I'm just saying that you don't have to carry your ARs in this time. You don't have to, but there might come a day where we do have to, and we need to be able to have Well, let's pray we don't have to. Let's pray that that doesn't happen. That's what I've been doing. Especially now. in this county. That's what I've been doing now. Because when I come here, I'll make sure you're safe. This is home. It's my home, too. And I have never felt threatened in this county. Now, if I go, you don't to, need to. If I go to Portsmouth, yeah. Norfolk, or Virginia Beach, yeah. I'm a little cautious. Portsmouth yeah. is special. You probably feel like you want a gun with you, don't you? I have guns, yeah, but I don't feel like I have to have one. I wish we didn't have to have one, but unfortunately evil persists in the world despite our best efforts. Well, where's this Mike Dunn guy? <laughs> He's around here somewhere. Can I can I have a hug? Sure. Thank you. It was nice talking with you. My name's Harrison. I'm Janet. Nice to meet you, Janet. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks. There's innocent people. We can talk and have a civil conversation and figure it out. But are the guys here that came with the guns that were arrested for the film, are they here tonight? Or do you know? I can talk to anybody just like anybody else. But we can have a civil conversation. We don't need the guns. You okay? It's like crying. Why in my town? Why do you have to come here? A lot of these boys are here from this town. And I'm a, I'm the a supporter guys that of them. got in trouble are not from here. Yes, ma'am. Well, some citizens here in this town are concerned about it, and I'm here for them. I'm here to support them, some of the citizens that are here. I think we made our point, dude. So, but we don't need that. Well, I know some people are of that opinion, and I respect that opinion, but we believe we do need it. We have to preserve the, the rights that are protected within the Constitution, and we will continue to do it. As you see today, we're not harming anyone, we're not hurting anyone, we're simply standing, saying what we have to say, and then we'll go home. Um, and it's, you know, I, I get your opinion, uh, and I appreciate it. It's just what we have to do for now, as we believe. Where are you from? I'm from Virginia. Where? I don't want to drop my address on cameras or location. So, but I spend a lot of time here in Gloucester, as I have a lot of friends here. Well, I just ask, you know, you can have a peaceful demonstration and you don't have to bring that AR. Yes, ma'am. The past peaceful uh, demonstration we've had, we've been brutalized or beaten or pushed or gassed by police, and so we refuse to allow that to happen anymore. I thought y'all were supposed to be at the sheriff's office. Why did you come here? Because this is where they arrested the other men. We wanted the sheriff's office to think we were there. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And I do appreciate you coming out and sharing your point of view. I do respect it. Well, I'm glad that you would listen. Yes, ma'am. I would just ask, you don't need that. I understand your point of view, and I appreciate it. You can just have a pistol. I appreciate it. I don't like ARs. I, I get that, too. Those men, they allegedly only had pistols on them, right. tucked in their pants and covered up, as is their right to carry. They were licensed to conceal carry. and. Um, but they, they didn't they go there them. for a school board issue. They came, came there with a beef. So prior to the True. incident, the, the school board had weaponized uh, politics against them because they didn't like what they had to say. So they came up, they spoke, and they left peacefully, and they were confronted, and that's the way it goes. But so. how does he know that that's who cut his tires? We know things. People pay attention. We listen. People talk. Um, and it's not even about the tires cutting. It's about the fact that they left the school board meeting peacefully. They didn't cause any trouble. They said what they had to say. They were getting in their cars to go home and were confronted, targeted, searched, and had their weapons taken. Like they were trying to hurt somebody, and they weren't. They were leaving. And if we give an inch on the Constitution, 
now. Our children will be a mile away tomorrow, just as the generation before me gave up ground and ground, and we can't afford to keep doing that. And so we take our stand on this. Well, see, I don't believe. Now, I'm a Democrat. Yes, ma'am. And I've been told by my Republican friends yes, that they're going to come and take my guns. Do I have a fear of my guns being taken? No, so, I don't. I, I don't think anybody does have door-to-door -door confiscation, but as we saw the other day, they were willing to take those four, men, those four men's guns. They took them from them. And, and that's an issue across the board. It's, I've never been worried about door-to-door -door confiscation, but I am worried about the fact that we have to give up rights for the safety of law enforcement or supposed safety. Anybody who will give up liberty in the name of safety does not deserve it. Yeah, but when you commit a crime, that's what they do. They take the gun. They'll never get the gun Who back. defines the crime? Well, they came up here. This is school board. And they, they did nothing. With a, yeah, but they had a gun. They spoke and they left. Yeah, but I know myself that I cannot come here with a gun. They spoke and they left. Also, this is not, uh, it's not legally recognized as school property. That's why it's going to get thrown out of court. It's a baloney charge, so it's recognized as a government facility, and it's well, not you're recognized you're not supposed to have property. a gun on government facility? Yes, you are allowed to in the state of Virginia. Okay. Currently. Yes, ma'am. They haven't changed that yet. So some uh, counties are allowed to change that, uh, like Newport News, which we went and carried there anyways when they made it illegal for us to do it. We still went there and did it. Um, Richmond, places like that have done it, but Gloucester has not, not yet. So. Okay, well, I appreciate you talking to yes, me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. But you don't need that. Yes, ma'am. I hear you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I do appreciate the conversation instead of being yelled at by people with no intelligence. It's definitely nice to see somebody talk. We can have a civil conversation. Absolutely. Yep. And we can share our differences. That's what I've always supported. I don't know how much you know about some of us, but we've marched with people across the political spectrum because we might not agree, but we'll always stand up for someone's right to speak. And this this whole country has lost the idea of civility or being nice and, and having a conversation. True. And we want to reinstill that by having these conversations. They're uncomfortable to have. They're different to have. But that's the whole that's the whole way we learn. You know, I'm I'm a young man. I've been doing this for almost four years now, and uh, I've learned so much in four years just listening to people, talking to them, getting that interaction. I still believe in what I believe in, and I'm going to stand for it. But. At least you can listen to somebody else's view. Yes, ma'am, I can. So, I and I do appreciate it as well. Thank you. Thank you. What's your Je name, ma'am? Janet, Nice to meet you. I'm Ice. So, so I don't think the sheriff's office is coming. I'm sure, I guess I'll probably face a felony charge after this. I don't know. Um, we'll give it 10 more minutes and then we'll roll out. Do y'all have questions? If you want questions, ask. Uh, I'll give you answers. So, Mike. Yes. All right. So, what they did with Trevor, right, was they called him and they said, you have till 5 p.m. or we're going to come get you. If they give you a phone call like that or if they knock on your door, Mike Dunn, come out here. <laughs> we have a warrant for your arrest. What What will you do? So, um, one, they're not going to knock on my door because they don't know where I live. Nobody does. Um, it's not on paperwork, whatever. Uh, if they issue a warrant for my arrest, we'll handle it when it happens and if it happens. So I hope that they love liberty more than pressing charges. Because um, if they press charges, they're going to have to deal with all of us. Respectfully, I'm not sure I understand that answer. What are you going to do if the police come to arrest you? I said we'll handle it on that day. If they press charges, they'll have to deal. If, if, yeah, they'll have to deal with all of us. I mean. We'll have to see on that day. I don't even know what to say regarding the fact that they didn't show up. I was hoping to ask for a chalky milk and some chicken tendies, man. Like I did in Newport News, and they couldn't give it to me. I mean, they got a warrant against Trevor for exactly the same thing that you just did, right? Yeah, but they showed up for them. So I'm sure they'll eventually issue a warrant for my arrest. But and you're really comfortable with that? Yeah. We have to be. They thought he was a cop. You'd have to turn in probably all your guns for a pretrial release. Nope. No? I don't own any guns. <laughs> you don't own any guns? Nope. So says Mike Dunn. I don't own any guns. All right. I don't own anything. I'll take your word for it, Mike. I think that the fact that the sheriff's office didn't show up and attempt to perform an arrest, any arrest is a, is a success. We're going home alive, which is a success. I'm sure potentially I'll face charges in the future um, regarding this. Um, if they want to continue to breach the Constitution in that manner, so be it. But I do think today was a success. I think we did a good Anybody job. Else? Water? We came out here and made a statement. You can see that no deputy showed up. I think the statement was made. Now we get to go home like we wanted to in the beginning and get to live another day. Hopefully they don't do anything stupid.